let us study about light what is light light is a source of energy that makes things visible to us what are the properties of light it is a form of an electromagnetic radiation by electromagnetic radiation we mean that it has got two fields associated with it one is the electric field and the other is the magnetic field both these fields are mutually perpendicular and vibrate perpendicular to the direction of travel of the wave light does not require any medium for propagation that is the reason why light from the sun reaches earth through vacuum where there is no medium in the same medium it travels in a straight line this can be verified through various experiments it is refracted when it changes the medium by refraction we mean bending of light rays when they travel from one medium to the other it is reflected when it strikes an opaque object by reflection we mean bouncing back of light into the same medium when it strikes an opaque object what is the nature of light according to newton light has a corpuscular nature by corpuscular we mean particulate nature or light is made up of particles called photons hygen differed in view he said light has a wave nature This is a comparison of Newton's corpuscular theory of light and Huygens' wave theory of light. This is how light would travel if it would have been a particulate nature or a wave nature. What is the nature of light? Light is a part of a huge electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is a collection of all the electromagnetic waves here we see the collection of all the electromagnetic waves in nature on the leftmost we see the gamma rays which are of extremely short wavelength as we proceed right the wavelength goes on increasing the radio waves are having the longest wavelength the size of wavelength of gamma rays is 10 raised to the power minus 12 meters while the longer wavelength that is the radio waves are having a wavelength of 10 raised to the power 2 meters which is approximately equal to the length of a football field frequency is inversely associated with wavelength so shorter the wavelength higher is the frequency hence frequency of gamma rays is the highest while the frequency of radio waves is the lowest high energy is associated with high frequency waves hence the frequency of gamma rays being very high energy associated with them is extremely high the frequency of radio waves being low the energy associated with them is very low now there was a confusion regarding whether the nature of light is corpuscular or wave nature einstein proposed 
that light has a dual nature to understand how light reflects or refracts we need to think of light as a wave to understand how atoms emit and absorb light we need to think of light as a stream of particles called photons so the accepted theory is that light has a dual nature light propagates as a wave and is emitted and absorbed as a particle thank you Thank you.